guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So what we're going to be doing today is reviewing Miss Jaclyn Hill's brand new holiday collection. Now, I got to tell you guys, um, I'm pretty surprised. So this was sent to me in PR. I've not provided my address or anything, so I'm not even too sure how they got it. Um, but I'm pretty surprised that this even uh, showed up because you will all remember <laughs> uh, when the whole lipstick thing went down with her original lipstick launch with her brand. I was pretty frank and I definitely shared my thoughts on the situation um, and expressed how disappointed I was about it and whatnot. And like I was just straight up. You guys know I'm always straight up and honest with how I feel about about things um, and yeah I didn't really hold back with that so uh, I was certainly quite surprised uh, to see this show up um, by the way she looks just incredible I do want to say you know obviously that was a really disappointing situation for everybody I think that Jacqueline has absolutely learned so much from going through that experience and I just I feel like she's been through like a real period of growth and change and I feel like she used to be all about I mean, and there's nothing wrong with it, like if that's what you're into, but you know, like money and things and objects and um, that was kind of like, uh, there was like this whole image kind of thing happening. But I feel like now, um, you know, she's quite down to earth and like she's really sort of come on this sort of full circle journey. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of you guys are huge, huge, huge fans of her. I certainly really enjoyed watching her grow and learn, you know, over the past couple of years, especially since that happened. Um, so, you know, it's my absolute pleasure to review this collection today. Now it will be the same as always. I'm going to be totally straight up. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm going to go through uh, all of the products that you get in these and give you my honest, honest opinions. Um, yeah, we're not going to be holding back basically. <laughs> so this is the brand new collection. It did come in this beautiful, beautiful box. And I have to say, like, she just looks like an ornament that belongs at the top of a Christmas tree. She looks incredible in her skin. Oh, her paws are so small. Damn you, Jacqueline. <laughs> and then when you open up the box, these are all of the products that come as part of the collection. There is a lot in here. Like, this is a huge collection. Uh, I can tell looking at this that she has a huge team working behind her. I'll, I'll say that for sure. Like, this is very, very well thought out. Uh, the packaging is really, really nice. The whole color, you know, the theme of it. And it looks a very, very holiday. Um, there's lip products. There's a primer. There's a cheek palette. And then these, like, these little glitter shimmer top coats. I think they're like shimmery cream eyeshadow. So what we're going to do is go through each of the products. Uh, I'm going to be using them. We're going to create a whole look using the collection and I'm going to let you know whether or not I actually think that this collection is worth you investing in. Now this collection is live on our website right now. It is called the Holiday Collection. Um, it's actually got like a really cute description. Um, it's very, it's very blingy. It's very Jacqueline. It's very, very cute. So the first product that we're going to test out uh, is this here. So this is the Skin Perfecting Oil Primer. Uh, this promises to prep, prime, and nourish your skin. Uh, it's meant to be a luxurious oil with a subtle pink tint that you can wear alone or underneath makeup. Now, obviously, you guys. I'm an oily skin type. I don't need help having a dewy finish. Like Jacqueline loves, 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 loves like the dewy finish look, the dewy skin look. Um, I pretty much create that on my own, but I will still test this today um, to let you know my thoughts on it. So you get 27 mil of product. There is a bunch of different oils in it. Sweet almond oil, apricot oil, jojoba seed oil, sunflower oil, uh, lavender oil. Oh, does that mean that it's, oh, coffee oil. It's got coffee oil in it. Does that mean it like smells like lavender? Oh, it just smells like oh, almost like olive oil kind of. I'm not, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the scent. This comes in a glass bottle. It's a dropper ampule and it is really, really pretty. But you open it up and then obviously, you know, you've got your little dropper. All right, I've put a little bit into my hand. I'm just going to sort of warm it up. Ooh. Oh. I think it's the sunflower oil in this that I can smell. Like it definitely is sort of like a, a lot of oils that I love and use daily that don't have a scent at all. This kind of smells like I'm putting like kitchen oil on my skin, if that makes sense. Um, mm, yeah, that's 
that's odd. It's quite a nice lightweight oil on the skin. Um, certainly if you're somebody who really loves an oil primer and loves to like be super, super dewy and glowy, you will probably love this. For me as an oily skin type, I won't be using it, but overall it is quite like, it, it's a nice feeling oil. I just personally am not a fan of the scent at all. Um, I'm not sure if it's meant to be unscented or what the deal is, but it's got a really, really odd kind of scent. Okay, next up we have these little glitter eyeshadows. These are called the Glaze Over Shimmer Top Coats. Uh, these retail for 26, so all of this is USD by the way, $26. According to the website, these are buildable water-based eyeshadows that you can use on top of any look to add a subtle sparkle or a full-on glossy sheen, uh, like a forest lake frozen over. Oh, that's really cute. So these come in these little glass jars. They are quite cute. They've got obviously like Jacqueline's logo across the top and then you open it up. They kind of remind me from looking at them at the Marc Jacobs one. Um, they launched them as part of a holiday collection. Oh, are we going back like maybe like three years or something? Yeah, these come in six different shades. They look like sort of like a foiled cream to powder sort of a shadow. Um, I will show you guys swatches of each of the colors and they all lend themselves towards like golds and bronzes. Um, they're like, they, they're really, really pretty to look at. I'd be interested to see um, how they actually look, uh, obviously when swatched on the skin. Let's have a little feel of the formula. Yeah, it's like a... A very soft sort of cream to powder formula. Ooh, but look at the swatch of this one. That's amazing. This is Frozen, which is like a bronze with like a bit of a gold shift. It's quite pretty. Now, these are designed to be used as a glitter top coat. So what I might quickly do is I'll jump off camera, I'll pop foundation on, I'll prime, I'll put a bit of like a matte shadow through the crease to add a little bit of definition, and then we'll come back and we'll actually play with these on my eyes. Okay, guys, just a little update. Um, I'm just blending my foundation out on top of this primer. I am using the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. This is an old fave. I really, really enjoy the formulation of this, but as a result of the oil primer on my skin, now bear in mind this may not happen if you are a particularly dry skin type. Your skin may even just you know, soak all of that oil in and this might not happen. But because the oil is sitting on top of my skin, um, it's actually causing issues and it's stopping me being able to blend my foundation properly. Like I'm adding, <laughs> you know, foundation onto my sponge and then I'm blending it, but it's sort of like because of the oil, because the surface that the foundation is applying on top of is so slippery, um, it means that the foundation is not adhering to the skin. So just um, something that I wanted to mention, um, for me, it's not a pleasant experience and it's taking me a lot longer to uh, blend my foundation than it normally would. Yeah, and it's kind of like made it patchy. Like I said, like this is a, a long time favorite, this foundation. I've used it many, many times. It always looks incredible, but it's turned it into a low coverage product. Like I said, you may not have this issue if you're a dry skin type, but I would say, uh, you know, combos and oily skin types like mine, um, yeah, this oil primer does make things a little bit tricky. So I'm going to say for the first product off the top of the rank, uh, as far as this test goes, it's a no for me. All right, foundation is on, uh, concealer is on, we're powdered, and I've got bronzer on because there is no bronzer in this collection. Like I said earlier, it was an absolute struggle uphill. It was a battle the whole time to actually get this makeup to stick. So definitely a new experience for me. Um, so I've put a little bit of bronzer uh, through my crease and underneath, like through my lower lash line. So we're going to jump into trying these. They are honestly, like they just look incredible. They look so beautiful and sparkly. So we're pretty much all warm tones, except for this one here. And this one is the shade Tinsel. This one's got like almost like a bit of a gray silver undertone but it's still in the brown sort of bronze family. So they're all sort of like similar kind of like matching tones. So as per the directions on the website, you can just apply them over your favorite eyeshadow or over your favorite smoky eye, or you can build them up. Like, look at this. It looks so nice, but I'm just going to pat it all over the lid. Like, honestly, that's really, really pretty. Um, it's definitely a cream eyeshadow, so you could definitely use like an eyeshadow brush as well to apply these. Actually, you know what? Let's give that a go. You guys could only see the brush situation that I am in right now. All of my brushes are dirty and I'm not even exaggerating. They are filthy. I'm going to take our precision shader. This is our E10 and I'm going to pick up 
a little of this. Let's see how this actually goes. You do have to sort of rub the brush in. But, oh, yep. So that applies beautifully with a brush as well. Okay, cool. I mean, there is no denying that it's a beautiful product. Like, it's a really pretty, pretty shimmery. Probably the camera's not doing it justice. But it's like a brown with like a beautiful gold shift through it. So what I think I'll do now. Um, do I have a clean blending brush? That is the question. All right, I'm going to pick it up. This is the Pro Blend. I'm going to pick up a tiny little bit of this on the end of the brush. I'm just going to buff that through the crease just to haze uh, the edge out. Yeah, I think overall I quite like this product. It's, it's really, really pretty. I would say definitely easy to work with as well. If you're a big fan of the Marc Jacobs ones or even, um, you know, the Becca ones. Was it Becca? I'm pretty sure it was Becca. Um, they had them like years and years and years ago. Um, this is a very, very similar product. I feel like it applies very much the same. They're not quite as foiled as those other brands. They're more sort of like, you know, a wash of color with like a little bit of like glitter sort of to them. Um, but it's a very, very similar finish on the skin. All right, to sparkle things up a little more, I'm going to take an icicle now. This is the really beautiful shimmery champagne it's got a little bit of gold to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Like if you did an all over smoky eye and packed this in the center of the lid, oh, stunning. But I'm picking it up on the same brush. I'm going to pop that right on the inner corner. We'll see how that goes. Oh, that one's actually not quite as intense as it originally looked. Still adding like a really nice bit of, you know, glossiness and a bit of like icicle, if you will, to the skin. Um, but it's not quite as intense Just adding it to the brow bone. Yeah, I find them. I mean, I'm reading the instructions off the uh, Jacqueline Cosmetics website, which says you can apply them to the brow bone, but they're probably a little bit chunky for me um, for brow bone application. I don't really like, you know, pieces of glitter on my brow bone. And certainly on the eyes, gorgeous. Just not quite as intense as they kind of appear uh, in the jars. So I'm going to quickly do a uh, mascara, some lashes, and then we're going to move on to trying out the cheek palette. All right, eyes are all done. We're moving on to the cheek palette now. And this is what she looks like. It's this really pretty silver palette. It's got Jacqueline with like black paint sort of smeared on the front. Uh, this is called the Winter Sun Face Palette. And in here, uh, it looks like we have two shimmery highlighters and a matte blush. And we've got one highlight here, which is more of like a white, ooh, like a white icicle kind of a color. This one's more of a goldy champagne. Oh, that one's actually quite pretty and soft. No, oh, I do like that. Um, and then a matte blush, which is sort of like a, uh, it's like a matte kind of a coral color. It's, it's quite pretty. So this one retails for 38 USD. You do get 12 grams total of product in this one. Uh, I'm just having a little read on the website. Uh, the, they call it a cream powder palette, but it's definitely all, I mean, the highlighters do have like a creamy element, but don't read that thinking that it's like a cream, like it's not a cream formula. They're definitely powder formulas. Overall, it's it's really, really pretty. Obviously, there is only one face palette. This one in particular, uh, certainly if you've got a deeper skin tone than me, you're probably not going to be able to use this. Um, I would have loved to see like different, like maybe three of these. So a different face palette for different skin tones. I think that would have been good because obviously if you don't match these colors, you're not able to use this. But let's go in and have a little play with the formula. I'm going to take the blush first. Oh, okay. That picked up a lot. Like it's like, it looks baked, but like when you actually dip your brush in, there's quite a lot sort of coming off. So this is our tapered powder brush. I'm going to sort of start dusting that onto my cheeks. Now I'm definitely intrigued by the highlighters because obviously Jacqueline is very well known, very well known for her highlight and like her cheeks, she is constantly glowing. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how it goes. This blush is beautiful. It's a really, really nice soft formula. Certainly it is not emphasizing the texture. I've obviously got enlarged pores like yep I'm a poor girl it is what it is um but I feel like in some ways it's almost as if it is blurring um the skin it's sort of like like a finishing powder element to it um and it's a really really pretty color on my skin tone um certainly like Jacqueline is a fairer skin tone than I am obviously this shade 
uh, that she's created matches her as well because I'm sure that she's wearing these at the minute. Um, but yeah, deeper skin tones than me, you're probably going to have a bit of a tricky time being able to use these. So unfortunately, it's not inclusive. Um, but for you know, if if you can wear it, it's really pretty. Going into the highlight now, I'm going to go into the gold one. The white one is a little bit too fair for me, a little bit too intense, but let's see what this is like. Oh, it's actually quite a soft highlight. I was sort of expecting like that wet sort of skin look and I've kind of been veering off that lately. I'm not as into it. I'm not as like, oh, you know, you need to see me from space kind of a thing. This one's actually softer. In a lot of ways, it almost reminds me of the finish of the Hourglass highlighters on the skin. Like, it's got that sort of very similar, like, soft kind of appeal to it. Um, It is actually quite pretty. I do quite like it. Oh, okay. So I've sort of packed it on more on this side, and my skin is looking very, very glowy. But it is still really soft. It's like a sort of soft formula. Um... It's quite pretty and I am finding this formula to be, you know, quite buildable. So if you are a beginner or, you know, you just like a really subtle sort of a highlight, I think that you could use this as well. But yeah, it's definitely buildable. It's a pretty palette. It's quite a basic face palette. But if you are after a palette and you like these particular shades, I think that you will like it. Now we're moving into the lip products now. Uh, there is quite a lot to get through here. So we have at the top here four lip liner pencils. Um, looks like like a like a traditional red, a berry kind of a pink, um, a deep red, and then almost like a dark sort of chocolatey purple color. It looks like we've got matching our liquid lipsticks to match those lip liners. And then here are these are lip lacquer. So I think these are like a cross between a liquid lipstick and a gloss. But let's go through swatches of each of these and a closer up of the packaging. Um, and then I'll try some of them on my lips. Okay, so first up, these are the lip liners. These are called the Pout Spoken Lip Liners. They retail for 18 USD. I have to say, I really like the packaging of these. It is very holiday, black, silver. You've got Jaclyn written down the side and then you can see um, the color of each of the lip liners at the top. I might take this sort of pinky one. These are a lip pencil that you sharpen. They are not a wind up pencil. But let's have a little look. Oh, they're actually quite smooth on the skin when swatching on my hand. That's a really pretty color there. Um, I've never tried any of her lip products except for the original lipsticks that launched and we all know how that went. Um, but as a first impression, that's quite nice. I will show you guys uh, swatches of each of these shades on the screen now. This one is Unwrap Me and it's like a pinky kind of a red. Then we have this really true red that is called Bow. Then we've got a deeper magenta uh, that is Flannel. And then lastly, we have Stocking, that beautiful rich burgundy red. Let's see what it's actually like on my lips. I might do, uh, let's do the traditional red and we will go with a straight up red lip because there's nothing more holiday than that. I am so excited to put the Christmas trees up, you guys. So I'm hosting my friend's baby shower uh, here at my house. Actually, if you're not subscribed to my vlog channel, make sure that you go and subscribe to that one. Uh, we get up to so much crazy stuff on there and obviously, um, you know, all the behind the scenes of like our personal life and stuff is over there. So this weekend we're finally out of lockdown, which is like hallelujah, but I'm actually hosting my friend's baby shower here. So I couldn't put the Halloween decorations up until after that. And then next week is Halloween and I'm so excited. We're going to drop like the whole front of the house. Again, it will all be over on the vlog. But then as soon as those Halloween decorations come down, you guys, Christmas. Oh, those trees are going up. I cannot wait. <laughs> so let's test this one out and see what the formula is like. Oh yeah, it's quite a creamy formula. It's not slippery where it's sort of hard to uh, control. Like it's quite easy to get like a nice controlled line, but it's also not dragging like a drying one, like a MAC one or something like that. So I'm going to line my lips. I honestly think that there's nothing more festive than a red lip. Like, ugh, love it. <laughs> so overall, really, really nice formula. Very, very easy to line the lips with. Very, very easy to draw with. Um, we've got a very nice precise line and the color's beautiful. So yeah, if you're after a red lip pencil, can definitely recommend. And then next up, we have the Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks. Now these are all in exactly the same matching shades. 
um, but in there, I believe this is their original liquid lipstick formula. I think that they've launched these a couple of times. You guys, the packaging is so holiday. There's like silver all down the side of the liquid lipstick with like this really pretty sort of like glittery almost cap. They're just beautiful. These retail for 20 USD. I've never used these before, so I'm not actually familiar with the formulation. It's got almost a... um. Kind of like a vanilla, almost caramelly scent. It's quite a nice scent. Oh yeah, and it's sort of like a nice lightweight liquid lipstick kind of formula. That's quite pretty. Um, certainly one swipe. I'm just reading the description on the website. It says you get creamy one swipe high pigment color that dries down to a gorgeous long lasting matte finish. So yeah, let's quickly have a look at swatches. Obviously we've got Bow, the signature red, we've got flannel, the berry, unwrap me, which is the plum and then stocking, which is blackberry. So I'm going to take a bow because this is the one that matches the lip liner that I'm wearing and I'm going to apply it. Oh yeah. Does feel like a very sort of traditional feeling uh, liquid lipstick. Like I said, I've not tried any of her other lip products, so I can't really, you know, give you like a, a in-depth review on this formula because I've never worn it for an extended period of time. But there is that one all applied. It's honestly a beautiful color, this one. The formula is definitely lightweight. It does feel a little drying on the lips, but I'm not a huge fan of wearing liquid lipsticks anymore. Like I pretty much stopped wearing them maybe... I don't know, a year and a half ago, just because I like that really sort of lightweight, creamy, balmy texture of a lipstick. But I will say this is like totally dried down. It's transfer resistant. It's going to be safe underneath a mask if that's, you know, something that you are looking for. And then last but not least, we've got the lip lacquer formula to test out. So I will quickly remove this one uh, off camera and then we'll be back to try this one. This is like a hybrid between a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss, I'm pretty sure. The lip lacquer. All right, so I've taken off that liquid lip and it definitely stained my lip. So that's definitely something to keep in mind as well. Okay, so these look super cute. I'm just gonna read you uh, the description off the website. So, Jaclyn Hill's lip lacquers are like her signature liquid lips and a gloss in one smooth swipe. A blend of jojoba seed, avocado, and olive oil to visibly smooth and soften the lips. Uh, get the high impact uh, pigment that she's known for with a gorgeous high shine finish. So from what I can tell, these are definitely like a hybrid between a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. Now, like I said, these colors are much more wearable than the liquid lipsticks and the lip liners. Obviously, they're all very red. These are sort of more nudes and neutrals. So we've got cookies, which is like a beigey kind of a pink. We've got uh, gum drop. This one's sort of like a brownie sort of red kind of a color. Uh, we've got ginger, which is like this really, really pretty brown red as well. And then finally cider, which is kind of like a pinky. I mean, they're all kind of pinky ready browns, really. <laughs> I'm going to take cookies, which is the pinky nude. And I love the look of this. Like it's such an Ikea color. Ooh, oh my God, they smell incredible. Mmm, very Christmassy, like caramel. Oh, they smell absolutely delicious. Now we'll apply it and see how we go. Oh yeah, that's actually really pretty. One thing that I will say um, straight up that I've noticed, um, it's kind of hard to get, oh no, I've picked up a little bit more product now. It's sort of hard on that first swipe. I didn't have enough on the brush. It's actually a really nice formula. It's not too sticky. It doesn't really feel like it's going to bleed everywhere, which I love. If you don't have too much of a steady hand, I would definitely recommend, um, you know, a lip liner before these because you may find it a little tricky to get like a perfect edge but overall that's a really beautiful formula definitely you know one swipe color like it's not translucent sometimes I have found with these hybrid products that they're a little bit like you can sort of see your lip color through them and you have to kind of build them up and then because they are a lacquer and because they've got that glossy sheen uh, once you build them up you end up with like this thick <laughs> layer of lip gloss and it's really uncomfortable and it just makes a huge mess but the formula of this is really nice there's definitely lots of pigmentation um they feel very very hydrating on the lips i definitely prefer uh the feel of this on the lips in comparison to the liquid lipstick but that is a personal preference i've just been off 
liquid lipsticks lately. Um, I've been more into glosses and things that feel a lot more hydrating. Um, but yeah, all of the colors, you know, they're really, really pretty. I would have liked to see matching lip liners to these. I think that would have been really good just so that you could match, you know, one of these to a lip liner and then it would be a lot easier to get like a really clean finish. But overall, I quite like this formula and I'm going to say uh, this is my favorite product from the whole collection. But there you go, guys. Those were all of my thoughts on Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Holiday Collection. I do think it's a really cute pun line and overall a quite diverse collection in terms of products. Um, obviously, you know, there's a lot going on here. We've got a primer, we've got a face palette, we've got the eyeshadows, we've got the lip liners, the liquid lipsticks, and then the lacquers. I did really like the cream eyeshadows, although I do think now, after wearing them for a little while, um, the shimmer almost it almost appears like it's disappeared a little bit and it's sort of more back to like a traditional smoky brown eye. The packaging is really pretty, all of the imagery and like the promotional shots and like Jacken looks incredible. Um, I love all of their like promotional stuff that they do for their collections. It always looks so amazing. It must be so cool to have like a team of people, you know, to help with this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I think overall I, I, I do like this collection. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review today, guys. Let me know all of your thoughts on this collection in the comments down below. I want to hear from you guys. Do you like the look of this collection? Have you purchased it? Are you going to purchase it? Which products speak to you the most? And what products would you have actually liked to see in the collection that I'm missing here? I'd love to hear all of your thoughts down below. But thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Just remember, if you are interested, make sure that you subscribe to the vlog channel. Um, I'm really, it's really becoming my passion project. I'm really, really enjoying posting on that. We do post on there weekly. So yeah, make sure you come over and subscribe. But I hope you're all having an amazing amazing day. I'm so excited for the holidays and I will be reviewing as many holiday collections as possible here on my channel so you can get the lowdown on what's good and what isn't. But I love you guys heaps. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!